If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today a very different video. I found a profile on X, formerly known as Twitter, that is called Torah Judaism. Torah Judaism is a page dedicated to Orthodox Judaism and it discusses the Zionist state of Israel. On this page you can see how Orthodox Jews stand up against the Israeli government and how they do not agree with the Zionist ideology. Quite the opposite, they are in full support of Palestine. Before we jump into the video guys, as always, if you enjoy my work over here, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box for further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Alright, here we are on the page, Torah Judaism, let's get through their posts. The Orthodox Jews write, the Zionist state of Israel reminds us of Nazi Germany. Zionists oppress Jews in Mea Shearim, the anti-Zionist neighborhood of Jerusalem. Just as the Nazis raided ghettos, the Zionist police constantly raids Jewish neighborhoods and inflicts violence on Jews. Israeli police regularly raids the Jewish neighborhood of Mea Shearim in Jerusalem and detain the Jews. Let's play the clip. Hey, hey, They're always dancing, man. <laughs> Orthodox Jews love to dance. So I have to say that I understand both sides here. The Orthodox Jews and the Israeli government, believe it or not. Orthodox Jews do not subscribe to the idea of a Zionistic Israel. They do not believe that Israel is supposed to be taken by force. They believe that God has to grant them this land. And in the moment they're finding themselves obviously in an occupation by the so-called Israeli government. And therefore they do not consider Israel being the legitimate Israel, the legitimate promised land. Now, from the Israeli perspective, I have to say that I understand their view as well. No, I do not agree with Israel in itself. I do not agree with the idea of Israel. But nevertheless, now that they have their government structure in place, and within their government structure, you do have outlaws, so to speak. You have people that stand up against the government. Of course, the Israeli police will persecute them. It is the same all around the world. You see it in Europe. You see it in America. When people stand up against their, quote-unquote, government, it is seen as treason and and therefore the government will infiltrate those groups. Let's proceed with this clip. Orthodox Jews protest. At a time when the world is suffering in Turkey and Syria with this terrible earthquake, such sorrow and pain, and there has to be added pain that they're oppressing the Palestinian people with the expansion of settlements. This is a created Nakba, uh, 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 a created the catastrophe and we as Jews are crying about this and telling the world that our religion as Judaism does not permit to occupy or to steal to have the state of Israel is against our Jewish religion and there you heard it man and yet again those are Orthodox Jews so we have to take their word for it Yes, and this is what I said in the beginning. Believe it or not, Orthodox Jews usually see the state of Israel as blasphemous. They see it as an attempt of men trying to trump over God. This is truly what they say. And therefore, they are taking the secular state of Israel. They do not see it as legitimate. Why would did they make a whole court system? But I answered your question. Why, you I'm asking why they made a court system when we had the Torah. What's wrong with the Torah? You know it's a rebellion against God? Why? It's because they don't want you. 
Judaism, they want nationalism, they hate God, they hate the religion, but they want the nationalism. How did, how you cut yourself like... off from Judaism by, by affiliating with Zion. Exactly what I just mentioned. Orthodox Jews stand against the secular government of Israel. And this is a parallel that we can find amongst other religions as well. Christianity and Islam. If we look into Orthodox Christianity, Orthodox Islam, we see as well an opposition to secularism, to liberalism and so on. And it is extremely powerful that we have Orthodox Jews standing up for the truth because it shows the hypocrisy of the state of Israel. It shows that it's a purely Zionistic, nationalistic, ethnocentric movement that has nothing to do with the original religion of the Jews. How did, how you cut like... yourself off from Judaism by, by affiliating with Zionism. Okay, so the Jews well, so... that are Zionists are not part of Amisai. Exactly. Is that your opinion? I would be much more happy if they would have gone to Uganda or Patagonia than Palestine. Back to Israel, to Eretz Israel. So they're committing two crimes. We're not war. But you understand that? They're defiling the you land cannot, of Palestine. You cannot, you cannot blame land. the consequences of the wars just on the Jews. Yeah. Shalom. You want to have a conversation? I don't know what that means. There's no peace with the victims. <laughs> Why we want the world to know? Because we are Jewish and because we are true to our religion, we are in total opposition to the existence of the Zionist state of Israel. We have a message for this Nakba day, for this 75 years of occupation. We want the world to know that what is being perpetrated against the Palestinian people, the oppression, the subjugation, the terrible cruelty is not in the name of our religion. It is not in the name of the Star of David. It is not in the name of the Jewish people around the world who are true to the Jewish religion. Because we are Jewish and because we are true to our religion, we are in total opposition to the existence of the Zionist state of Israel. I call it Zionist state of Israel because it is Zionist. It is not Jewish. Judaism in the Torah forbids Jews to have our own sovereignty, our own entity since the destruction of the temples and Jews true to the Torah never aspire or try to have our own state. We also are forbidden to kill or to steal. The whole concept of taking this land away from the Palestinian people, it is totally antithetical and is contradictory to my religion, Judaism. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. I find it extremely important to share this with you, and ideally you will share it further as well. Share their page, Torah Judaism, on X slash Twitter with the world as well. So hopefully many more people will make the connection that true religion stands alone and is not connected to nationalism, liberalism, secularism, or in this case, clear Zionism. I truly believe that it's one of the greatest battles of our time to truly understand what adherence to religion means and to not intertwine all of those concepts. I, for example, grew up in the West. I identified as an Orthodox Christian. However, was I really an Orthodox Christian growing up? Surely not. I had no clue about my own religion. As everybody growing up in the West, I was influenced by all the outside sources and the major driving force here is is of course secular liberalism seeing that the church is not part of the state therefore not really putting too much emphasis on god but rather on so-called science moreover we have a very liberal worldview in the west of course and you start taking those things for granted you see them as normality it is of course totally normal as a 13 14 year old in germany to go out party drink alcohol smoke cigarettes just explore the world by yourself that is normal and still you will identify as a christian that is an anecdote that is something on a personal note however in the greater scheme of things we see how destructive it can be of course because nowadays when we look at america we identify it as a christian nation does America truly adhere to Christian values? Of course not. And the same can be said about Muslim countries too. The same has to be said, however, about Israel. Because when we look into anti-Zionism amongst the Jews, we find certain arguments. 
So here we have a list that some Orthodox slash anti-Zionist Jews hold. Messianic beliefs. Some Orthodox Jews believe that the establishment of a Jewish state should only occur when the Messiah comes. They view the modern state of Israel as a secular and political entity, not the fulfillment of a religious prophecy. For these Jews, the secular nature of Israel and its founding principles might be seen as incompatible with their religious beliefs. And that is exactly what I just mentioned and it makes sense once you understand that secularism opposes true religion. Just as secularism in Europe removed the church from the state, secularism in Israel or any other country for that matter removes the religion from the state and therefore it cannot be the prophesied promised land of the Jews if that land now is secular. Zionism versus religious Zionism. Orthodox Jews who reject the state of Israel might do so because of a distinction between political political Zionism and religious Zionism. They may support the idea of Jews returning to the land of Israel, but disagree with the political and secular aspects of Zionism. Yeah, so this is basically the same argument. Historical concerns. Some Orthodox Jews have historical concerns about the way Israel was established, including the displacement of Palestinian Arabs and the potential impact on Jewish-Arab relations. They may feel that the founding of Israel was not done in a way that aligns with their ethical or moral views. Yes, and this is their right, because guess what? If an Islamic country kills innocent civilians, this is not in accordance with the religion. In Islam, it is prohibited to kill innocent civilians. So every time that happens, this organization goes against Islam. And this is ultimately what we're talking about, because the question is, do you adhere to your religion? So in other countries, this question might not be so prominent and not so important after all as it is in Israel. Because the whole claim of Israel is based upon the religion. If you look at people such as Ben Shapiro, you will see the claim that Israel was promised to the Jews. That is the promise of the state of Israel. Never again. The Jews will not stand by. They will not be murdered. They will not leave their biblical homeland. They will not surrender. They will be strong and courageous. Chazak v'amatz. As Joshua said 3,000 years ago. So it is a religious claim after all. However, the state of Israel is not a religious state. It is a secular state. So that would mean it is not the fulfilled prophecy. And if it is not the fulfilled prophecy, it would imply that Israel is an illegitimate state. And that would then further imply, of course, the absolute atrocity of this occupation, because it has absolutely no grounding to stand upon. There would be not one single reason for Israel to occupy the poor Palestinians. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. I hope you got something valuable out of it. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.